so if you hear cars and shit in the backgrounds because I'm outside made it down to Charleston South Carolina and we got an overnight here got a load to be delivered at this place in the morning earlier I was at a loves out in Dillon South Carolina and I, we stopped there to get a shower and shit and while I was in the shower I was doing some thinking I saw a, per, a post prior to that talking about purpose the human beings purpose people find their purpose this is rhetoric um, that we've all heard before purpose destiny you know things like that now let me say before you get any further into this video if you are suffering from depression <laughs> if you're suffering from depression if you still got suicidal thoughts uh that's a loud ass truck i hate loud ass fucking trucks i hate loud anything but if you're suffering from any type of depression suicidal thoughts you probably shouldn't listen to this video or you know broadcast any further because it's going to get a little melancholy for y'all who have high hopes of your uh, existence I saw this post about purpose and I started thinking about it while I was in the shower as to what exactly purpose is in this realm on this planet and I came up with a whole bunch of bullshit. Now, let me explain. Now, again, I'm not trying to burst nobody's bubbles or fantasies or ideas of grandeur, but understand that I don't feel there's much to our existence. And the reason I say that is because if you look at what we are, look at what we do, we are just here trying to make money. That's most people's goals of any kind. Um, trying to make money to live a comfortable life and the reason that we of course need to make the money is to live that comfortable life You can have your own business or work for any other motherfucker either way the goal the ultimate goal is wages now Wages on top of uh, making wages on top of uh, having children which add a lot of purpose to uh, one's existence is having children want to see them grow up and aspire to make wages just like everybody else um so essentially it's looking like to me that we are here to work again this is whether you have your own business or not you're here to make money put money back into uh the system one way or another i don't give a damn if we talking about you giving it to black owned businesses or whoever you giving it to um you're here to make wages and possibly have children when people seek out to have other types of purposes like you know creating a uh change in the world i guess so to speak essentially that changing of the world would only be uh, necessary because the world is fucked up the world wouldn't need to be changed if it wasn't so fucked up already when we got here and then i start thinking about this uh supposed creator and you're supposed to be thankful for this life to a supposed creator for being here you praise him or her for your life and blessings of life and i don't know because if i'd have had a goddamn choice before i actually got here and could get a glimpse of what was going on here i would think i would have been like nah i think i'm gonna stay where the fuck i'm at um if you got a motherfucker that's behind me, maybe they can go ahead and jump in front of me. I'm good here. Ain't really too much shit going on down there, but a bunch of fuckery and wage slaving. Because again, we have romanticized the idea of human purpose. And I understand that from a narcissistic perspective, we have purpose here but if you look at the human being and 
our existence overall, we don't really do anything to add to the ecosystem or anything of that nature. Now certain animals, you know, decomposition and, you know, supposedly trees give oxygen. The jury's still out on that. I don't quite know about that. Like how the fuck do, I don't know. Um, but this is what I'm told. So I will go with what I'm told. Um, but supposedly everything else out here in nature does uh, have some function to, you know, make this uh, entire system work as it were. People, not so much. And now think about these purposes that people put up on themselves, whether it be one is here to motivate people to keep going. That becomes a purpose uh, to be a motivational type of figure, even to uh, encourage people to keep going, to keep fighting. I think that is a noble cause. I actually happen to believe that I'm one of those types of people myself. I try to, you know, encourage people to keep going, keep up the good fight. But essentially then my purpose is to fight. And the only reason I got to fight is because this shit was fucked up when I got out here. Again, it begs me to question this creator and its purpose, his or her purpose for supposedly creating people. Now, again, this isn't my story. This is the one that has been pushed off onto majority of people that somebody made us, you know, essentially. Um, and we just out here trying to find this path that we're supposed to walk of righteousness and goodness, which, again, I think is noble cause. But if you really look at the purpose, look at what we do, look at who we are, we eat, go to work, have kids, send them to school. And we repeat the whole thing over and over again, generation after generation. That's not even counting the atrocities that occur on this earth constantly at the hands of human beings, AKA mostly white people. Sorry if you listen to this, this is just the reality of your existence. You are the bane of the existence of the human being Everybody else is here, most definitely, not really contributing much. We just out here breathing and working and shit. But white people, uh, y'all just, I just colonizing motherfuckers. That's all y'all do is destroy, kill, genocide. This is y'all's contribution to the ecosystem. But again, I didn't, I didn't want to come and share this thought to discourage people because that's fucked up. Not trying to discourage anybody. I think if we out here, we might as well be out here and do the best we can with what the fuck we got going on out here. I just understand and look at this thing a little bit different. I'm going to be here. I got kids, like many of us do, trying to raise them. But essentially, I'm raising them in the same environment where all it is is them being raised to essentially seek wages, seek riches, seek monetary gain and effort to function in this society better than someone who may not have as much uh, wages coming into them. Poor people. You don't get to choose where you're born. You don't get to choose your circumstance. And again, if a motherfucker would have asked me before I got here, just give me a glimpse. Let me look and see what's going on. I'm thinking I would have chose to stay where the fuck I was at. That's just me personally. Maybe if it was utopic down here, everything was cool. Everything was copacetic. It was just a vibe going on here on Earth. But there is no motherfucking vibe going on here on Earth at all. So I question the idea of purpose that we've given ourselves upon being here. The idea of what we're supposed to be doing. I question that. I really do. Because, I mean, the people who came before me, the greats, you know, would be uh, civil rights, black, not civil rights. uh, People who have fought for the liberation of the black mind. And I guess I can't knock the people who were seeking civil rights, but they were disillusioned if you ask me, that's a necessary position. 
because of the environment that we live in. That's not a natural position. That's necessary. Freedom fighters have to fight because freedom is something that uh, the human being is always seeking, constantly seeking, because somebody's holding us to fuck back at all times. You know, black people in particular, we have an entire planet that is focused its attention and its resources on oppressing our people. So when I look out here at people, even now that I'm driving trucks, and you know, a person uh, may love driving trucks, but you know, driving trucks is just a means to an end. It's a way to make money. It's not an actual purpose. Some people will believe they purpose is to bring people closer to God. And I would argue without that false religion, then what purpose would they have then? I know we choose different purposes. We like to, again, romanticize the ideas that we have of ourselves, but I mean, it's a whole lot of eating, breathing, fucking, working, and taking care of kids, essentially. And spending money, of course, you know, spending the wages that we uh, earn while we out here uh, working in one way or another. Um, but I don't know, man. This was just a thought I had when I saw that post on purpose. I'm like, well, we really have romanticized the idea of ourselves. We really, really have. And I guess it, it gives people hope, keeps them going, essentially, you know. But at the end of the day, we have to be realistic about this shit. And to me, uh, purpose is an idea that we've created to make ourselves feel good about um, the environment that we live in. Do they have the inside? Oh, you go to this window. Yeah, the window. I don't know if they got it inside. Yeah, I'm sitting outside. Somebody, some lady out in South Carolina. I don't know. Want to know if this place has an inside over here at a Checkers down in Charleston. I'm just sitting outside fucking with y'all. But I, um, but I don't know. That was just some shit I was thinking about, man. You know, I have, I have these melancholy, you know, thoughts. I mean, to some people, they're melancholy. To me, they're not really that melancholy. You know, I don't really... You know, I ain't getting sad just because I think about this shit. It's just, I just don't see it, you know. And really, my kids keep me uh, grounded, you know, essentially. Because if it wasn't for them, I really, I mean, really, this shit would have no, nothing. There would be nothing for me to do here, honestly. There would be nothing for me to do here with y'all on some real shit. If it wasn't for them, I don't know. I just would have had no purpose. This young lady just walked past me as... Pink hair. Pink. 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 Um, pink weave. You see what I'm saying? I got just don't know. I don't know what we doing here. <laughs> it's so crazy to be like, what the fuck, man? It's crazy as fuck to me. But um. But nonetheless, just like these people working in checkers, you know, and this ain't their purpose. We weren't born to work. I mean, I'm not going to, I won't be convinced of such. We weren't born to sit out here and chase money. And that seems like that's all we do. I mean, we can find great ways to say it. Oh, you need to do your, start your own business. You can find whatever hot way you want to say it. But at the end of the day, the goal is wages. That's it. Now we got dreamers out here, people who, dream of being this great hot shit but essentially they still might make wages that's it that's all that's what this is it's a big ass job full of stress this is what one reason that I can deal with stress is because I look at this life and to me it's just it's not real shit you know what I'm saying like this, this ain't this ain't real shit to me so it helps me deal with any forms of stress better. Um, even though, you know, stresses are always happening. They're always occurring. Things are always trying to knock you down and fuck with you. But this shit ain't real, yo. 
and all most I'll say most stress comes down to wages that's all it is to it and of course you're gonna have people out here just fucked up abusing other people committing atrocious acts towards other people but at the end of the day man wages now a God created people to chase money work for a certain amount of an hour like I just I don't know I don't think I don't, I don't really I don't know about that and if that's really what it was I wish somebody would check with me that's really all I'm saying somebody should have checked with me before they sent me out here cause I would have chose the goddamn ladder <laughs> like wherever the fuck I was at let me just stay right in here if it takes another thousand years that's cool I'll just wait it out you know what I'm saying like what the fuck am I doing here but I mean, I may not be the only person that's had these types of thoughts before. But again, you know, don't let it discourage you. Keep going. You know, do what you got to do out here to make it happen, to make your existence be uh, the best existence that you can make it out to be. But purpose, though, I question it. Y'all, leave your comments. Let me know if you have any thoughts like this. I mean, I look around here, I see a Matrix, a Truman Show-ish type of reality. Nature's beautiful, you know. But, I mean, again, it's, it's real Truman Show Matrix-like to me. And um, it looks like a big-ass program. That's what it looks like to me. But... Y'all let me know what's on y'all's mind. Mad love to everybody who took the time out to even listen to this. A random ass rambling of mine. I'm going to be doing more of these, so y'all be ready for them. I'm going to be sharing my innermost thoughts. Whether popular or unpopular, I'll be sharing those thoughts with you guys. Um, Just to know... Just to let anybody else know that's thinking this shit like is you're not by yourself. I'm thinking the same type of shit. I'll look around this motherfucker and I can't really do much but shake my head. And I really do understand the encouragement that people are trying to give me throughout purpose and walking your path and destiny and all this shit, but nah. Nah. To me I like to deal with reality for what it is. It's some bullshit. I gotta be a part of it. I can't, I mean, I can't live under the goddamn bridge. You know what I'm saying? I got kids and shit. I got shit I got to pay for it too. But I'm not falling for it though. I'm not. And I haven't romanticized my existence, nor am I just thankful for life. Like people like to want to make, like you seem like you're supposed to be. Like I ain't sign up for this shit. Why can I be thankful for something I ain't asked for? I ain't want no parts of this bullshit. I didn't ask for any of this. And this is the life I'm supposed to be thankful for. It could at least been a little bit better. Like four star. <laughs> four star life. Like look at look around at this motherfucker. Like, nah. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment. Like, share, subscribe. Man, I love. I'm out. <laughs>